Dude, how are you? It's the end of the year. It's over. Yeah. Things are happening. Things are happening behind me. This is exciting. <laughs> it's gonna happen at the end when you leave it down there. So, uh, it's November, the election happened. Ah, oh, fucking things are changing, everybody. Did you feel it the next day when you woke up? No. <laughs> you turned it around. The war's over. Uh, I got to vote on whether porn stars should wear condoms. Yeah. <laughs> How did I get dragged into this? Is that a union problem for them? Can they talk to their shop steward or something? I really don't want to be involved. Hi ladies, welcome back. Please welcome. So, it's been a weird, uh, like I've been working a lot and I, and my kid for Halloween, which was fun, but I worked late. Like, driving home from work on Halloween, I hit a cat. I think she was dressed like a cat. <laughs> She could have been a pinata. I don't know what she was. <laughs> I don't want to see him snobby, but it wasn't a good costume. <laughs> but my daughter went, which, uh, that was great looking. <laughs> Bigfoot, you never see him. He can sense a camera. I'm still kind of pissed no adult told me when I was a little kid, that's a dude in a bear suit. What the fuck are you talking about? There's no Bigfoot. I stayed up late at night and think, wow, I'm good catch it. Okay, so now, so I watch a lot of TV and I watch animal shows. Like, I love animal shows. But like, you ever watch an animal show and then you get bummed out because you find an animal you like is kind of a dick? <laughs> like, I'm always like kangaroos. They're always fun, like in cartoons, you know? They got a little dude in there, and they got this little box. They're like the bikers of the animal world. They're little tricks, man. They like, have a picnic, mind you, just come over and start fucking shit up. Start humping your old lady. There's a kangaroo in the woods with a bathtub making speed. <laughs> And then, the mongoose, he's got like one great stat. Look at the mongoose do. He can kill a cobra. Yeah. Which, by the way, is a badass stat yeah. to have on your thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, other than killing cobras, that guy is the biggest cocksucker in the fucking <laughs> whole animal kingdom. Fucking breaks into people's homes, eats their kids, steals their fucking eggs. <laughs> And even when he kills cobras, let's not build it up to, it's not like they're walking through town and a cobra like bumps his shoulder and they're like, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> He's doing a fucking kick-in home invasion at the cobra's house trying to get his eggs. Dude, if my place isn't overrun by cobras and I see a mongoose, I think we know what's gonna happen. He's gonna be stuffed in my garage. Fuck the mongoose, man. Fucking hate that. <laughs> All right, I'm a little emotional about a mongoose. So, uh, oh, I got some notes here. A lot of people memorize their act, but it's, so, it's such a hassle. You know? <laughs> so, uh, I have a kid. I mentioned that. Her name's Maggie. She's four and a half. If you don't have kids, I will tell you it's the greatest thing ever. And that's always what people used to tell me, and I never, and it was always like, fuck you, it's bullshit, or whatever. <laughs> and it really is, but then when you ask them, well, why is it the greatest thing ever, they always go, uh, and you just gotta experience it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I've had a kid, it is the greatest thing ever, but I, I figured out that my friends are inarticulate fucking assholes, is what they are. <laughs> I will explain to you how great it is. This is, uh, it's like having a kid, it's exactly like smoking crack. <laughs> like everything you've heard about crack, and when you smoke, it's like, holy shit, that is fucking good. <laughs> and that's what having a kid's like. Like my little kid, I came home the other day, long day where I come in the house, she runs over, daddy, and hugs me. Oh. And like hits you here, and hits you here, and it just like covers your whole body warm. Just like crack. <laughs> <laughs> and just like crack, that only lasts like 
10 seconds. <laughs> and walk into the house and my wife sleep with her about her eating her fucking food. And your money's gone. Your house looks like shit. It's like sleep or eat. <laughs> but I tell you, when she runs up and hugs you, or you wrap your lips around that glass pipe, <laughs> All worth it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> and rock cocaine. But, <laughs> you know what, man? We're going to be shitty old people. That's a bummer. I was at the grocery store and it hit me, man. I'm at the grocery store, I see two old people, one lady, one dude, probably 80. Both Sunday best. The guy's in a brown suit. He's in a whole Sunday best. And there's not many of them. And there's so many of us now. We can live longer. It's going to be a bunch of old people wearing sweatpants and pink Floyd shirts. I fear for my daughter. So, uh... I don't have a lot of pop culture material, but I try to stay current in it because people like that stuff. So, uh, what order would I have sex with the Kardashian sisters? Well, I First, I would have sex with them anally. Then, probably orally. Then the titties. Then I go get a fucking steam bath or whatever they do when you're like, exposed to shit. All right. <laughs> So, Saudi Arabia, you know what this is? What year is it? It's 2012, it's almost 2013. I just read this. And Saudi Arabia, our buddies, by the way, those are our pals, our allies. Women aren't allowed to drive cars in Saudi Arabia. It's 2012. Just imagine for one second how great it is to drive there. <laughs> But still, my point is we should not be allies with these people. I hope I've made that clear. So I'm married, so I don't have a lot of sex jokes. I apologize about that. It's not because we don't have sex, it's just people don't want to hear about you giving it to your old lady. You know? Hey, yeah, so we were coming home from a wedding. She like reached over and started on fire. I don't want to hear your spouse. Oral copulating you? With you. That's a new one. I think it's good. I'm going to hold y'all responsible for that one. I kind of liked it. Yeah, it was too wordy. Here's another thing they said about having kids, like especially if you have a daughter, it will change you the next time you go to a topless bar. And I didn't think it would, but it's true. I mean, it's like you, you see a nude girl and you're like, eh, she's making a good step on. <laughs> and I've never thought that before I had a daughter. So that's wow. kind of cool. It's good to know that. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. I want to do the thing because I, I started out as a ventriloquist. Not a lot of people know that, but when I first started my career, I started as a ventriloquist. <laughs> it's kind of cool, man. See, there's me and Sammy. That's me. And we used to do, I had a contract with Skull, and we would do all these rodeos and shit. We made a ton of dough. And we had to work together, and I'm like, uh, uh, Josh, will you come up and do the intro while I get ready? And then yeah. I'll do a quick little song. Yeah. 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 Ready? Ready for the intro? Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they've toured the, all over the country and headlined the Copenhagen Skull. Last two and last t trail ride. I took a short ba break so Sammy could battle mouth cancer, and now after a full recovery, here, ladies and gentlemen, after a long hiatus, are T. Sean and Sammy. I'm T. Sean. First, we'd like to make a special announcement about Smokeless Tobacco. <laughs> we 
right thing it is not a safe alternative to cigarettes. <laughs> How about that flight in? Did you watch the in-flight movie? <laughs> yeah, you were the overhead bin. I forgot. <laughs> so how about, did you have the chicken or the fish? <laughs> oh, yeah. After the surgery, they removed your taste buds. I forgot. <laughs> so, how about the... <laughs> no, no, Christ, I'm keep it together. <laughs> they don't want to hear about your illness, buddy. So how about that hotel we're staying in, huh? The towels are so big and fluffy, I can barely close my suitcase. <laughs> November 9th, 2009. <laughs> X-ray, stage five, Jesus. Jesus. How about a hand for him, everybody? <laughs> yeah. You want to do our song? Okay. <laughs> Me and you and different, but we're kind of the same. <laughs> I like meatballs. <laughs> I like a party. <laughs> I like a Yeah.